This is an offering of an experience that I've been having, I would say for several years, just in terms of the time that I spend on the internet. So what's interesting is I use the internet a lot for educational purposes. And maybe that sounds cliche, <laughs> but I really do. Um, but I will say this, even though that, that, that may be the case, it does still affect me. The screen time, the electromagnetic frequencies coming from all of these electronic devices, as well as the Wi-Fi that's in the air, it does have an effect. You know, I was sitting and, and contemplating, why is it when I was a teenager, I, that was probably one of the most, that was probably the most challenging time in my entire life was when I was a, te a teenager. And so yet I still had, I still had a measure of discipline and I still had focus and I still had drive. And I wasn't, you know, I didn't have monkey mind. I wasn't like out of my body and, and my mind having racing thoughts and all of those kinds of things. And I was wondering, why is it when I was 16 and 17 and going through the most challenging time of my life, I was able to still maintain a sense of self. I wasn't happy, but I had a sense of self and discipline and focus and drive. And um, things that were extremely traumatic didn't throw me off my game the way it's doing now and maybe a part of that is because I've entered a new phase in my life and I've started a new career and there's a learning curve with that but uh, I do notice that regardless of any of those things none of those things are new for me and regardless um, I've come to understand that the amount of time that is spent on the screen is still too much. I think one to two hours is more than enough. So I'm going to find a way to solidify that in my life. You know, I was thinking like, oh, but then I can look up recipes. It's like I have recipe books, you know. There is value in not overly relying on our devices. And, and not that, you know, I don't, I'm not one of those people that feels like social media is bad because... I don't go into negative spaces, so I don't have those negative experiences with social media. I do use it, you know, a lot of research and things that I'm interested in. But still, it's 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 the attachment to the screen, and because the screen has these EMFs that um, affect our mental state of health. So I I have come to understand, and now comes the implementation part. I know, but knowing is only half the battle, <laughs> that it's time for me to severely limit my screen time. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to set up what that looks like to me. You know, it's interesting because it's like when you need to do research and stuff, that go-to stuff is, is on the internet. So um, I'm going to try to tomorrow, or no, maybe Tuesday. Tuesday's my paperwork day. Try to set up a time... Um, don't try, just do. I'm going to set up a time to sit down with a schedule in which I can accomplish as much work as possible without actually going onto the internet. And that's from looking up recipes to um, researching anything. I mean, I really feel like at this point in my life, I really feel like I have enough um, groundwork laid in my respective projects as well as my goals where I can take it offline for a little bit longer each day you know there are definitely ways that I can you know I don't always have to learn the latest dance moves <laughs> it's a lot of fun but I do think it's kind of detracting from my uh, personal life experience as well so anyway um, I'm just documenting this for myself as I'm experiencing some challenging circumstances but you know it doesn't have to be it, it's not new that's the thing it's like this is not new for me why am I reacting the way I'm reacting and that is you know what I the insight I received was that the screen time is a bit much
even though I'm listening to talks and speakers and whatever, there is something to be said for having just a peaceful state of silence. Can we bring back silence? It's okay to just sit in silence and to just be in silence. And so, <sighs> yeah. It's so interesting because my spirituality is a big part of my life. And I do get a lot of that from online, from YouTube. So maybe I can, at a minimum, divide up that time and focus more on reading again. Because since I started reading again and doing those read with me videos that was my kind of motivation for starting to read again it has helped my mental state tremendously tremendously because I had gotten to the I think I did a video on this a long time ago but I had gotten to the point where it was hard for me to focus and concentrate and I'm like what the heck like who am I turning into what is this but then since I started the read with me the read with me series and I started reading again a lot of that has calmed down so what I what I would like to see from myself going forward and beginning now is uh, more dedication to that and and I'm going to make a concerted effort to you know now that I'm con more consciously aware of it to minimize my screen time to one to two hours maybe I can start by writing it down you know I spent five minutes here ten minutes there um, I don't know but like I said Tuesday's my paperwork days in which I get to sit with documentation and whatnot and sort out things so <sighs> I'm going to do that and then um, I'm going to make a follow-up video on what that could look like, you know, after I work with the schedule. You know, I'm like getting happy just thinking about it. You know, there's something so comforting about just snuggling up with a book. You really do go into your own little world, into your own space where you tune out the outside world. Kind of like watching a movie, except for some, it's, maybe it's just me, I don't know, but for some reason I feel like it's it's more intimate when you are reading a book versus watching a TV movie. So anyway, that's just my documentation for, for this, my linear thinking. Um, and so, yeah, maybe someone else will listen to this and be inspired to to do something similar if it resonates. You know, I certainly know I'm not the only person to have had that experience. And I know that restricting my internet use has, and starting to read in particular has been of value to me. So as I'm rebuilding and reshaping my life, um, yeah, something's got to go if I'm going to build the life that I desire, right? So <laughs> I can't spend, you know, five hours, even if it's research, even if it's valid. You know, you got all these excuses under the sun of why I do something. But at the end of the day, I'm not focusing enough on my own life's creation. So <sighs> knowing is half the battle. The implementation is the part that matters the most. All right. So anyway, here we go. This week, this is my new goal for myself. And then in a couple of weeks, I'll do a follow-up video to see how that worked out. Thank you for listening.